Hi, this is Tim Handley for Gigabyte. We're here with Mr. Jason Ziller, who is the Director of Product Planning and Marketing for Thunderbolt at Intel. So Thunderbolt is the fastest connection to your PC. It runs at 10 gigabits per second and actually bi-directional and dual channel. Um, and it supports two protocols, PCI Express and DisplayPort, so you can run data and video on the same cable. If you're doing a lot of things with Thunderbolt devices, you may, may maybe have a dedicated high-speed link to your backup storage, for example, and then on the other one you may be uh, having a display or you know maybe a camera input or something down the road, so there could be, uh, could be things like that, multiple usages going on at the same time. Uh, there's two controller options for, for desktop motherboards. The one, one is the 35 DSL 3510, uh, which is a two-port, so it's four-channel, which makes two ports. Um, and then the other one is the DSL 3310, which is a single port. The single port product is a little bit lower power, just provides one port instead of two if you, if you only need one port. And uh, basically those are the, you know, the capabilities are the same otherwise. So each uh, port can daisy chain up to six devices. Uh, that's been demonstrated on the Mac today. We're actually you know, currently validating that on the Windows, um, but that's uh, the spec. And so if you have two ports, then you could daisy chain up to six devices on each port. Um, theoretically, you know, to be able to get 12 devices total there. Uh, yeah, Thunderbolt, is, as you may know, has been out uh, on Apple Macs for the last year, and now the, the news today is uh, it's really arriving on Windows PCs. So uh, Gigabyte and others are announcing um, you know, uh, PCs and motherboards uh, with Thunderbolt. Um, we, we have a lot of support from device uh, vendor ecosystem with a lot of product development going on and a lot of announcements uh, here at Computex for that. Um, and so, uh, so that's really the, the good news is we're seeing that expand to the Windows ecosystem.